So now in this video, we're going to look at a three terminal current source. So it's right there, the LM334. We set the current with one resistor. The resistor though looks at a voltage of about 64 millivolts and uh, I think it can be about 3% higher or lower and mine appears to be higher. Mine appears to be uh, 68 millivolts. We'll see that uh, coming up. But here you can see the basic layout you put the uh, V plus pin towards the positive side of the power supply, V minus pin towards the negative side of the power supply, and then we have an R pin. And you put a resistor from R to V negative. Very straightforward, and based on the uh, set voltage, which doesn't vary, and the resistor you use, you'll get a current going through here. So we'll look at that coming up for the uh, pin layout. It's really simple here. So I got this from the data sheet there. And if you put it in backwards, it acts kind of like a rectifier diode. It, it blocks current in reverse direction uh, pretty well. So we have uh, the uh, V plus to the left, R in the middle, and the uh, V negative over there. So I want to turn it this way. So V plus is up, V minus is down. And then R, of course, is still in the middle. That doesn't change. So flat side to the left for our purposes. So now. The uh, data sheet, I'll get this out of the way, says that this component works from 1 to 40 volts. Of course, be careful with 40 volts. That's a lot of power dissipation. You'd probably want to make sure that you have a really low uh, current at uh, 40 volts. But in any case, we will uh, come to uh, this diagram here. With 10 ohms of resistance, whether or not we have the LED. So the LED is not important. That's the main takeaway right now whether there's a load or not, but it does matter for voltage. So we're going to take a 10 ohm resistor. I have a 10 ohm resistor here and we expect about 6.4 milliamps of current. Again, my numbers, when you take a 6.4 millivolts divided by 10, you can expect 6.4 milliamps or 0.0064 amps. Pretty, pretty straightforward math, but uh, this one seems to be using 0 0.068 volts. So, in any case, first we're going to test this with the power supply at 1 volt. So I'm going to set the current to measure milliamps. And this is without a load. And so we have 1 volt at the rail. And you can see it falls short of what we expect. Now, I'll pluck this real quick. We're still at 1 volt. And put in a 100 ohm resistor and so we expect one tenth of the current of the uh, 10 ohm one and I think we'll do fine this time and there you can see it's about that 0.68 we can go to the micro amps because I was milliamps and you can see it's about uh, 680 micro amps and that is at uh, one volt so doesn't seem like we can do near as much at uh, 1 volt. Let's go to 2 volts now at the power supply so you can see the alligator clips are uh, clipped. They come from the uh, power supply there and then these jumpers go to the rail and uh, we'll zoom in. So now we should see the uh, same amount of current with the same resistor right there and that's what we expect. Now we're going to go back to the uh, mic to the milliamp range right there and we'll go with the uh, 10 ohm resistor. So you gotta be aware of these limitations, but this component, as we saw, will work to one volt with particular, with a uh, very low amount of current. So now we're going to add an LED because as I said before, the current does not depend on load. The component here wants to allow a certain amount of current based on the uh, resistor but again we're only dealing with two volts right now so we're going to fall short the LED it's not even letting anything conduct so we're gonna raise the voltage and uh, with one LED I'm pretty sure I need at least four volts we're gonna go right to four volts to save time we could test it with three beforehand but in any case now we should see about 6.8 milliamps of current right there and of course 
if we add another LED that's gonna add more demand to it and we will have to raise the voltage so they're in series they're both blocking uh, current so I'm just gonna jump right up to 12 volts so that we can get four LEDs in series and some of them are gonna be green they block a little bit more voltage so in any case there we go now we can go back and put two green ones we're at 12 volts now in series like that and we'll see that the current holds steady right there and green LEDs are just naturally brighter they don't have more current going through but you can see as I work my way down the line we have a steady current source right there and so that is with 10 ohms right there and we already saw if we use 100 ohms so that's 10 times the resistance we'll get one tenth of the current so it's that easy we can this is about the minimum 10 ohms you want to use because we're close to the 10 milliamp maximum intended for this component and we can look first with it at the milliamp setting but uh, there you can keep seeing that 68 right there and so technically it should be uh, 64 but it has a 3% higher or lower air or whatever it's called so there we go we'll go to uh, the uh, micro amp range with this meter and now you can see current holding steady no matter what the load right there so it doesn't depend on the load as long as you have enough voltage so that's a hundred ohm right there we'll go with a thousand and so now we should have about 68 micro amps of current through this load here and it's uh, pretty close so it varies a little but for the most part it holds pretty true and I think I made my point but I also have a 10 kilo ohm resistor here so this is about the minimum because the this components only rated for down to one micro amp and you can see we're really close to one micro amp right there so we could go lower but uh, in any case that's pretty close to the uh, maximum resistance you want to use so now we don't have to have the uh, the load going that way I'm gonna move this jumper right there the current will be on uh, this side also so I'm just gonna complete the circuit here and uh, yeah let's stick with the 10 kilo ohm again so I'll put it back I just kind of moved it to make it easier to get that jumper out of the way and so the current will be the same down here too right there 6.8 micro amps of current so it's through the everything in series the resistor is just kind of parallel with the the uh, constant current component and otherwise everything in series has the same amount of current going so it can be on the positive side or the negative side which whichever you want or both even as we saw we had the load and on one side and the meter on the other and so I did the math for a number of these and you can see there are 10 ohms we expect six about 6.4 milliamps so this particular one looks like it's a slightly higher voltage going across the resistor but pretty straightforward and uh, there you have it again and if you go with a 100 ohm resistor you'll get one tenth so 10 times the resistance one tenth the uh, current we saw that and it uh, doesn't matter if you change the load I drew that on there too if you have a 10 ohm resistor you can as long as you got enough voltage to uh, power the LEDs and everything keep adding LEDs the currents going to stay the same just like that and so yeah I think that is everything for this component here is some more uh, stuff that I wrote down I don't have the uh, voltage up there other than the uh, maximum but as we saw it can go down to one volt 400 milliwatt uh, maximum power dissipation so that would be the voltage across it and the current going through it so you'd have to be careful at uh, higher voltages with high current going through there this component could heat up pretty well you'd have to do the math there but uh, otherwise 
it's just uh, three terminals and a resistor to set the current. It's uh, pretty easy and straightforward. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.